My name's Tony Howe, I'm a trombone player with the CBSO and I've been playing with the orchestra for 17 years or so. I think it's understandable that people might have the perception that classical music is, is a bit insular and, and doesn't take influences from, from other genres and other kinds of music, but uh, it, it's, it's a, an illusion really because that there, uh, there are lots of people who write music for orchestras, not just for orchestras, but for all, all sorts of ensembles of musicians and solo instruments uh, who take influences from all sorts of other kinds of music, from folk music, jazz, uh, national music, even, uh, rock and pop, you know, all, all, ki all kinds of music. I want to recommend a few pieces uh, with specific composers, for example, Frank Zappa, uh, was had one foot in both camps, one foot in the rock camp, one foot in the classical camp. Uh, I'd seriously recommend starting with a piece like The Black Page. It's an amazing, interesting piece. It could be played by an ensemble of all sorts of musicians, whether they're jazz, rock musicians, classical musicians. I've played it myself. Um, there's a composer called Tom Ades, a British composer, Tom Ades, who, um, is, uh, if you start with a piece like Asyla, it's got um, music from garage bands, that kind of thing. Um, it's uh, there's a composer called J.B. Talbot, who might be a familiar name. He was a classically trained composer, but uh, wrote a lot of pop and rock songs, particularly for the band The Divine Comedy. A composer like the American John Adams, his, his piece Short Ride on a Fast Machine, it is, a, is a, a, an amazing piece to listen to, quite short as well. J.B. Talbot, who I mentioned before, um, I, I personally played uh, a ballet at the Royal Opera House. He wrote the music for that um, full-length score for Alice in Wonderland. Johnny Greenwood from Radiohead wrote music for um, for orchestral musicians, orchestral type setup, but it's written quite a bit of film music. Um, and it's so it's, there's so much crossover going on that sometimes it's easy to, to miss the fact that you're actually talking about so classical musicians in inverted commas um, because that's what we that's what we're called. But I think that's just because we play traditional instruments. But we all play different kinds of music, we all listen to different kinds of music, the whole lot, we just listen to the whole lot and we play the whole lot as well, we just read notes while we play it and we play traditional instruments, but composers are doing the same sorts of things. There are a few purists who just stick to the very avant-garde sort of thing, but, but most composers are writing with, with a massive range of different influences, so have fun trying it out.